Okay guys, this is an unboxing of a Dragon K556 RGB uh, Devrasas, D-E-V-A-R-A-J-A-S uh, keyboard. And then we're going to move my uh, really bad rubber dome lighted keyboard out of the way. And uh, by the way, if, you, if your keyboard doesn't have the flip-up feet, this is actually a really good solution. This is a piece of wooden dowel rod. Uh, wrapped in the shelving material, okay, that you see at, uh, you know, at like dollar stores and stuff like that. Uh, you roll it up until it's the height you want, and it keeps the uh, the keyboard from slipping, and it adjusts the, the height. But uh, this one has feet, supposedly, so we're going to not use that. Alright, so, here's the box. It is considerably heavier than I expected, but it's supposed to be. It says it's got a, a metal frame on it. So not a good I or not a bad idea. It uh, comes with extra blue switches. Uh, excuse me, blue Otemu switches that can be popped out and replaced for like about eight of these. Uh, normally the rest of the switches are uh, Otemu browns. And uh, we're gonna open it up, find out what we get. My biggest concern here is that the software will not let me set it to the color I want. Um, I'm an old mainframe guy, okay, well not mainframe guy, but mini computer guy, and uh, one of my favorite colors is Amber Terminal. My writing platform is set to Amber Terminal, as well as a number of other things. Okay. So what do we got here? Open up the box here, okay, pull everything out of the box first, disc. With manual. I hate those mini discs, can't use them in a slot loader. We got the actual switch puller and the keycap puller. And nothing else in the box that I can see. Check. Oh, no, oh, oh, sorry. My mistake. The, uh, the other switches that you can put in. So we'll pop that open right now. <laughs> and yep, it's got eight blue clicky switches. Alright. That you can pop out and do like the arrow keys and so forth. Um, I don't plan on doing that. Part of the reason I got this keyboard is it was a mechanical RGB with the brown switches because I don't want as much noise. Alright. So far, so good. Alright, so, came intact, it is decently heavy, there's no, almost no twist in it, that's actually very awesome, no USB ports, but I didn't expect any for this price, um, I paid about $60 shipped for it through uh, that giant smiling box place, but feel free to uh, pick it up anywhere else. I love it. Very definitive switch feels, okay, but not a lot of noise, okay. It's not like the the clickies, and it is definitely not like the the rubber mushy, mushy rubber domes. Okay, and I'm not going to string the cables behind the machine for a minute, so we're just going to put it in directly in here, and. Uh, Okay, it's set to rainbow its butt, which I don't want. I know a lot of people like these. Okay, I'm going to turn off the, the lights here so that we can see the the rainbow thing on it. Oop, knocked over a figure. Um, it uses... There we go. Look at that. Almost exactly the color I want right off the bat. But that's also going to be the breathing or... No, it's the shifting color. Okay. I'm going to have to find the manual or read the manual for it. But uh, it apparently has a ton of different settings. Okay. You know, like the color shift setting. And the fact that it can color shift to that is uh, awesome because that means, in theory, I can set it. 
but it is very, very bright. Um, you can dim it. Yeah, there it is. There's the dim. Right, brightness. That's the snake setting. You can hear my computer dinging because it is actually set in the... Um, it is actually plugged into the computer. I'm not wild about this, but we're going to attempt to plug in the software and uh, see that. But at this moment in time, it requires no drivers whatsoever. Um, it's talking to the computer. I'll string the cable on it later. All right, uh, let's see what the tilt is. That may be an acceptable tilt. I usually like my tilt with just a little bit more than usual, but that one actually looks pretty solid. So, we are going to, uh, we're going to cut this off here, because this is now unboxed. It's got the standard keyboard and switch pullers. You see them in everything. Although I didn't think that we were at the point where you could just pull switches and put them back in and have them be reliable. So I'm kind of concerned about that. But at this point, it looks like a solid keyboard. And honestly, um, for a full RGB keyboard with brown switches, which it, oddly I had trouble finding, okay, um, I know there's a ton of them out there, but they were all like $130, $140, $200. Okay, it was just ridiculous. Um, but a full RGB keyboard with Otemu Browns, okay, or Kali Browns. I have to look at the box. I cannot remember whether these are Kali's or Otemu's. Um, for 60 bucks, shipped, okay. And it's got software that supposedly does the job. And that is where I've seen the complaints. I've seen the complaints saying that the software is not up to par and it is uh, like a 1.0 version of software. But then I've seen later notes saying, hey, the software worked great for me but the dates on those were later, so maybe they put out a different version, maybe you can go to the site. Um, we'll see what it looks like. Uh, regardless, here's an unboxing of the, uh, the Dragon K556. All right, thanks.